ESIC 3, Evaluating Acquired Skills and Communication, 3rd Edition. The ESIC 3 is a five-level inventory developed for use with children who are developmentally disabled, have autism, or have moderate to severe cognitive and language disorders. It provides assessment items for students functioning under the language and cognitive levels of the average six-year-old. It provides assessment items in the areas of prelinguistic skills, semantics, syntax, morphology, and pragmatics. Examiners can use this tool to evaluate communication skills, record their performance, or translate assessment data into appropriate goals and objectives for IEPs. The ESIC 3 includes an examiner's manual, five inventories with corresponding profiles, a picture book, picture cards, and developmental age charts. These are used to compare results and see where the child is cognitively functioning. The examiner will need to gather a variety of common objects and toys to use in the administration of the ESIC-3. The examiner is not limited to using only these manipulatives. In addition to the items shown, other suggested manipulatives may include colored blocks, boxes of crayons, bubbles, a bell, photos of familiar people, and other high interest items. The students' responses are evaluated using six categories of performance. The categories are spontaneous, cued, imitated, manipulated, no response, or wrong. While administering the test, the examiner circles the initial letter representing the student's level of performance. In the event that the student requires a cue, the examiner can indicate the type of cue by recording the corresponding number, 1 through 7, as indicated in this picture. Sign, verbalization, physical gesture, phonemic sound, oral articulator placement, open-ended sentence, other. The student's skills are then marked as accomplished, emerging, or not yet developed. Skills are marked as accomplished if the majority of the student's responses are spontaneous. Alice is a 14-year-old girl who was diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder. She is an only child and was born to her parents in their later years. Her mother reported a normal pregnancy and gave birth with no complications. English is the primary language spoken at home. Alice presents with limited verbal skills, rhythmic rocking of her body, and repetitive movements with her hands. Alice is currently assessed at the cognitive level of a typically developing 4-year-old. She was officially diagnosed at age 2 and began to receive early intervention. Therapy did not occur very often as Alice's family lived in a rural town. There were limited speech-language pathologists in the area and Alice's home was extremely far from the local clinic. Two years ago, Alice and her family moved to a major city. She is about to enter the public school system in a self-contained setting. The ESIC-3 has been selected as a means to assess her communication abilities both receptive and expressive. This information will help her new team of therapists determine goals for her IEP. Areas assessed in the ESIC-3. The pre-language inventory assesses skills that emerge prior to meaningful speech. Most students tested at this level are not yet at an object recognition level when an object le label is verbalized or signed. Most of these inventory items assess skills that normally develop between birth and 24 months of age. Receptive 1 inventory assesses initial emerging comprehensive skills. It is appropriate for students who understand simple noun labels, basic verbs, simple location and prepositional commands, primary adjectives and attributes, and basic questions. Most of these inventory items assess skills that normally develop between 12 and 48 months of age. Okay, Alice, I'm going to show you some pictures and then ask you a few questions about them. Are you ready? Okay, can you look at these pictures here and show me who cries? Good job. Okay, take a look at these pictures. Can you tell me who cooks? Good job. Okay, 
Look at these pictures. Show me who plays. pictures. Let me see what each person is doing. And here's an item. Who puts out fires? Okay, this is a firefighter. I think he puts out fires. Okay. I'm going to ask you some more questions. Look at these pictures here. What meows? Okay, good. Look at these pictures here. What do you eat? Mm, ice cream. Mm -hmm, ice cream, yummy. What do you ride? Good. And what do you wash with? Do you think you wash yourself with the ice cream? No. What do you wash with? Mm, a cloth. Yeah, use a cloth, and would you use any of these items with the cloth? I think maybe you'd use soap. Soap, good job. The Expressive One inventory assesses initial emerging expressive skills. It is appropriate for students who have emerging modes of communication, such as simple noun labels, basic verbs, simple location indicators, and primary sentence structure. Most of these inventory items assess skills that normally develop between 12 and 48 months of age. Okay, Alice, I have some pictures here for you to look at, and I'm going to show you some more pictures. And what I want you to tell me is what this picture goes with, okay? What goes with the toothpaste? Good job. What goes with the pencil? Paper. Good. What goes with the socks? Feet. Yes, you put the socks on your feet. Which of these pictures go with the socks? Sneakers. Good. What picture goes with the spoon? Good. Okay, now we're going to do another fun activity using my pennies. Okay. Okay. I'm shiny. That one is shiny. This one too. Uh huh. You know what? Let's use these shiny pennies. Okay. How many shiny pennies are there? Two. Good. Now, how many pennies are there? Four. Good. Now, how many? Five. All right. If I put all these together. How many are there? Try again. Let's see how many pennies are there. Go ahead, try again. Three, four, six. Ten. Wow, good job. I made one. You did, I love your line. Receptive to inventory assesses more complex comprehension of semantic, morphologic, syntactic, and pragmatic functions. Most of these inventory items assess skills that normally develop between 24 and 60 months of age. Okay, so for the next activity, I'm going to let you hold my baby. She's going to play with us. Okay, so I want you to put the baby beside or next to you. Good job. 
Okay, now I want you to put the baby in front of you. There you go. Okay, now I want you to put the baby behind or in the back of you. Oh, good job. Now I want you to put the baby between you and me. Can you share the baby and put her in between you and me? Very good. Now we're going to do something else. So I'm going to take the baby. Do you want to hold the baby? Mm -hmm. I'll let you hold the baby if you answer these questions with me, okay? All right. So I'm going to show you some pictures here and I'm going to ask you some questions. Can you find the ball that is beside the chair? Think about when we have the baby and we put her beside you. Which one is beside the chair? Is it that? Yes, good job. Okay. Now, we're going to look at the chair with some dogs. Baby's got to be quiet so we could do this. Okay. Find the dog that is in front of the chair. Do you think it's in front of that chair? Maybe look again. Find the dog that's in front of the chair. They look the same. They do look the same. I think this one is in front. Mm. You think so too? Mm. Okay. Now we're going to look at this picture of this little boy. Baby, shh, baby, shh, shh. Find the boy that is behind or in back of the table. Which boy is behind or in back of the table? I think this boy. Good job. Here's the last one. Find the pencil is between the books. Hmm. Remember when we put the baby between you and me? Can you find the pencil that's between the books? Um. Do you think that looks like between? No. Can you try again? Good job. The Expressive 2 inventory assesses more complex expression of semantic, morphologic, syntactic, and pragmatic functions. Most of these inventory items assess skills that normally develop between 24 and 60 months. Okay, Alice, next we're going to look at these pictures and we're going to try to decide what the people in the pictures are feeling. Okay, so look here at this picture. What, how does that person feel? Yeah, you see the snake? What's the little boy feel like when he sees that snake? He goes like this. Mm hmm What do you think he's feeling? Scary? Scary? Scared. Good. Okay, look at this picture. How does that person feel? Pop the balloon. It made uh -oh. a loud noise. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Pop. Okay. About this one. How does that person feel? It has a boo boo. Boo boo. How does that feel? It hurts. Hurts, yeah. About this one. How does this person feel? It's broke. Oh, broke. If I broke his skateboard, how do you think he'd feel? Mad. Mm, he'd feel mad. Good. And how does this person feel? He's sleeping. He is sleeping. He looks relaxed. Okay, now we're going to show you some more pictures. Let's look at these pictures. This ball is big. This ball is even bigger. Good. This ball is the biggest. Very good. Okay, now we're going to look at some glasses of milk. This glass has a little milk in it. This glass has even little. Does it have littler? Look at this one has little milk. This has more. More milk. Good. But this glass has the. Oh. Yes, it has the most. Very good. After administering the ESIC-3, the clinician considers the child's emerging skills as indicated on each inventory and corresponding profile to determine and recommend goals and or performance objectives for the child's IEP.